YouTube. I'm back with another video. My name is Tamaria. If you're new to my channel, make sure you smack that like, comment, subscribe button. If you're coming back, welcome back, y'all. So, as you can see, I am currently, well, y'all can't really see, but I just got to Piedmont Park. I'm meeting my friend Chanel here. We're gonna sit out here and paint and, you know, enjoy the views and have some girl talk i wrote down some topics basically for us to talk about while we're chilling and um painting and you know vibing oh. y'all so this is how i take my pictures Y'all, we saw some really good pictures. <laughs> that just made me excited about this whole today. Period. Y'all be taking my pictures with this button. Literally, be setting my joint up and taking my own picture. I think I just stepped in some poop. Oh, I stepped in dog poop, y'all. I am so disgusted, please. It's a pretty day. It's not hot out here. Like a good breeze. But y'all know I was basically starting this like new journey as y'all seen in like my past couple of videos and this is like so nice to me like just this walk is crazy take a right on piedmont park avenue then in wow. 600 you don't have to be loud. i should have rode a scooter y'all are really stepping in dog poop <laughs> okay y'all so we are here I got Bojangles. She got a healthy, nice little wheel. <laughs> I was thinking about going to Chipotle. I, got Chipotle. Chipotle. Well, I knew that was going to take me like forever. Mad long. And yes. we have the source yes. right here. Okay, let me explain to my YouTube because they probably going to be like, what the hell? Yeah, because I never did a video like eating shrooms. But I ate shrooms before y'all. But I'm not promoting shrooms in no yeah, type of way form to each his own. Mm -hmm. But I feel like shrooms is more natural than some other substances people use and I did my research on shrooms before I even started using shrooms and a lot of people was using it for like it's it helps for, with like medicinal use it's, it's good for anxiety and depression not that you should yeah. abuse it and not yeah, saying I feel like, like that's when once you abuse it yeah, that's, when, that's it when it becomes, becomes a like a drug and not saying that like we're depressed or anything but shrooms is more of like the type of psychedelic where you use it for enlightenment yeah, and it's it enlightenment yeah, and what's happening like, with your creativity so say there's yeah. something you're struggling to like figure out focus in the moment, to focus or you're just trying to like understand yourself better or like your situation i would say then that's when it's the perfect time to use shrooms yeah. but in no way in no form should you abuse any type of drug especially shrooms I yeah like i know i know some people like my age that they be they be taking shrooms they but be, they also mix it with liquor and oh yeah weed i don't know. And go to the club and take it i don't i can't yeah. say like if i take shrooms i have to be in like i have to be in nature i have to be in a chill environment mm -hmm. one time i did like take a shroom bar and like drink later and I, I know you I was. was yep, I already know it. I was. I was. I was like, I would never do this again. Like, I was not even physically here. Like, literally. That is crazy. So, I gotta tell y'all about my actual shrimp trip too, sis. Now that y'all see, like, I, I have. I have a, a, a deep experience with shrooms that changed my whole perspective on life. life yeah. yeah, and it literally, it makes you feel like this is how life's supposed to be. Right. Because it makes you stop caring so much about like worldly things like, oh, this bill coming up. Oh, let me make this money you're to get to this point You're just living in the moment. Yeah. That's what I like about shrooms because it's like, you're it gave just me that living. hippie feeling like, yeah, you like, don't have nothing. Yeah, okay. Like, I could just yes. lay here all day. And it's beautiful. <laughs> and I feel like the stuff that you don't really naturally pay attention to and appreciate like trees or being able you to start breathe. to admire stuff like yeah, that yeah it's like wow life is really beautiful we are so much more than what we think we are and our problems are so much smaller than and what that's we think they so be. true because i feel like as humans like we're worrying like when we're not on that type of stuff not saying that you i feel like you can achieve that euphoric feeling even if you're not on any type of yeah. drugs i'm not saying you have to take that to feel it but it's harder when you're like sober because you're in reality. Yeah, you're facing a lot of worldly problems exactly. that brings you back to 
like worldly things so when i was doing my research it was this girl she was taking them since she was like five months pregnant but she belongs to i wouldn't say a tribe you know the people that don't really have like their citizenship yeah like, they freedom basically they live in like a colony we, we, like kind of like a colony um we product you know they give us our social security number like throw our numbers on yeah, us we're like we're product they could literally come and take my kid right now and i can't do nothing about it because my kid belongs to them even though it's my kid yeah we technically belong to like a yeah. system i'm so stop drinking too because i feel like especially i feel like i was making myself an open portal mm -hmm. like i'll have a shot or two i'm not saying i completely stop drinking but like yeah i'm a I occasional won't get drinker drunk. now yeah. yeah i won't get drunk because i used to get drunk and like i feel like i was allowing myself to be a portal for spirits to come inside of me and it would yeah. happen my friend used to tell me he used to see like my eyes would look different and i would act different your eyes are really pretty oh thank you they're light <laughs> they, they like really light wow. <laughs> it's very so sweet <laughs> you're welcome but, but yeah, yeah. I, I, I definitely feel that i feel like with shrooms you can feel you know how people say like you're a high vibrational person or a low vibrational yeah. person you could feel your vibrations you can feel it being high and you could be like okay like when i come down i could feel like if something's lowering my vibration so if i'm around certain people i can pick up their energy that's why you should also be careful who you do shrooms around you yes. either want to do it by yourself but i suggest doing it with a friend for the first time yeah because time. it's, it's kind of it's kind of scary the first it, yeah. time because so it's like you, you go in there with, with the wrong intentions and not mm -hmm. really, the wrong really know. Yeah. And you should always be in like the best mood possible before taking it. If you know like yeah. you're really sad because you're, you're going to be crying yes. so hard. My eyes was swole. I could insert it. Bro, <laughs> the last video y'all saw, I was sad. And I knew that was going to happen because I'm like, I needed this. I wasn't able to cry. So like, if you, you release do, it, like empty your trash can. Yeah, every exactly. Yeah. If you do want to release emotions, I feel like. You, you definitely will re realize a lot of stuff about yourself so. that you know, but it's like it was never like on the surface. Like, it, dang, this yeah, is really a problem come for to me. Yeah, the surface for yeah. real, for real. Like, you'll know for sure. Like, oh, I need to fix this. I need yep. to, you know, do this differently. And it'll make you watch putting certain stuff in your body. You be like, okay, I really want to take care of my body because what you eat is like it, it affects your vibrations too. Like, yeah. certain foods, like fast foods, can bring your vibrations down or. Just stuff even like that. people you're around too yeah, as well. Definitely. So that's why if you social do media. Shows, oh yeah, that another thing. I don't like being on my phone when I'm on mm -hmm. shows. I ain't gonna lie. Like it pisses me off. Yep, I'll be the same. Yeah. Oh idea how much to do my life. If that's a three five, I feel like like a quarter of it. Cause I took half of a three five and I I took a trip. And we out here, and we probably be really just laying here all fucking oh, day. Okay. But the even in the rain, it might rain. I, I, I <laughs> yeah. tell myself, I'm not fucking around the rain. The rain. Like, like I don't give a fuck. I was uh, like, I, I wish I had like so a long. big umbrella to cover us. Yeah, if it does. But yeah, I think I want. Do you know what you want to paint or no? Um, no. I think I want to do like, I probably, a butterfly. I probably paint a mushroom. Ooh. Yeah, I seen like people like on the tapestry things that That's people be fire. having up there. Yeah, I might That's do a fire. mushroom. Okay, I think I brought my phone. So I can see a picture. Alright, so this is what it looks like. Oh yeah, that's what it looked like, y'all. I tried a chocolate bar before, but the chocolate bar didn't really do nothing for me. Like really? I literally ate bar? about the whole chocolate bar and it gave me like a high feeling. Yeah, I feel like that's why I I'm doing grocery. Regular time, yeah. Last time I ate the chocolate bar, the chocolate bar is kinda like a buzz and it does Yeah, last that's exactly what it is. So a this buzz. Is what it looks like. It's literally a But yeah, y'all, I'm not, I'm not crazy. Like, I'm literally in my same mind. I know people just deem people that do, like, certain things. Crazy. That's not out of the, that's out of the ordinary. Yeah, or like, oh, you're that's depressed. Different. Or yeah. you need to find God. God or, yeah. When I have the closest relationship with God, like, literally, I talk to God about everything. And I didn't get close to God until I, be like, closer to God until I became spiritual. Because a lot of stuff didn't make sense to me in life. Right. So I don't put my beliefs on nobody else. And you shouldn't either because yeah, like, we're all, each his own. I yeah. accept everybody on my channel. Like, That's what I'm saying. It doesn't matter if you're Muslim, you believe in Christian, Buddhism, yeah. Christianity. At the end of the this day. This is my personal belief. Your own personal belief. And I feel like we kind of all believe in something similar. Yes. But just it's a different story. And it's like it's okay to have different beliefs. But yeah. nowhere near should you come and attack anybody based Girl, on what was, they believe in. I was in. literally about to say that. I'm like, the, the judgment part, and even, like, I know some people that, like, contradict themselves all the time, but yeah. it's just like, I literally love all people, no matter what color, and that's race, what here, that's religion what we're here you to are. Do. We're here to love each other exactly. and just live amongst each other. It's, I feel like religion was just technically put here to divide us. To control us, people, yeah. Divide, control, control us. And at the end of the day, we all come from the same creator. Yeah, and I would never come to yeah. somebody that's a Christian and be like, you shouldn't be a Christian. You need to believe in this and believe what I believe in. So the fact that, like, Christians will come to other people and, like, 
no, this is the way. This is the way. It right. just be like if, if anything, we should all just share knowledge amongst each other. Yeah, we all can learn, learn from like, each we all other. Can learn yeah. from each other. There's no reason why yeah, we should be here. Oh, thank you. There's no reason why she would, uh, we should all be fighting each other. Because at the yeah. end of the day, none of us are going to know until it is time. Yeah. So like, no, that there's nobody. True. Nobody's right. Nobody's wrong. You know, like life is life. Literally, you that's live how all. You want I be. To. I make sure I'm a good person. I make sure I'm a good person. Mm-hmm. Like I don't try to do no harm by people. I believe in karma. Putting out bad energy is gonna come right. back to you. And so, just doing right. Like that's yeah. the basics of life. And everything person. good always comes to me right. from that. I feel like so. I just have a a good positive outlook on everything in life. Even once bad stuff happened, it's like okay, I learned from this. Right. You just take and it, it was as my fault. Yeah. I take my mm-hmm. accountability. I put myself in this position, even though I knew it probably wasn't the right thing to do. So it's like okay, I learned from it. Or like when me and her went in the mountain. Oh my god, day. story time. Yes. <laughs> she <laughs> recorded. Y'all go watch. When are you gonna post it? You know. Uh, probably tomorrow. It? Yeah. I'm so it. go to her channel, bro. I'm gonna have a link down below, Y'all, bro. So <laughs> scary. <laughs> and we definitely learned the lesson to be more cautious of our surroundings. The surroundings. So yes. y'all don't know, but like when y'all go watch, y'all see. We basically went to Pine Mountain, right? Yes. And you know we climbed up this big mountain and. We wasn't paying attention going up. Like, we was just talking. But we was, like, vibing. Like, it's yeah, our first it time hanging good. out. So, we were just getting to know each Both other. Both for our first, like, kind of real hike before. Exactly. So, we were just enjoying the moment a little too much. Yeah. We get to the top. We chilling. You know, took pictures. Vibe. Starting to get smoke sun going down. We smoked a little weed before we went back down that's the where we messed up at yeah. that's where we messed up at and I, when i tell y'all i thought i was stuck up in that mountain look up we was walking mountain, forever i look swear up we was walking pine forever. mountain we was trees. walking like it's nothing Everywhere. but trees bro it get dark in certain places i'm like okay it's, it's really about to get dark time and they were like okay so sun and yes, the sun was setting better. i was yes. like bro i was like i gotta get out of here i thought my life was over y'all i thought y'all was never gonna see my face again i thought my mama was gonna yeah see we my both were about again. to break down crying she like are you sure like you remember this i'm, I'm saying like, i'm saying yes so i could keep her calm i'm like you remember this right i was like, so yeah. ready to no cry one I remember. <laughs> I was so no one I didn't remember that shit. Oh my god. Y'all I cannot draw, but we've had to try to draw these. Microphones. I used to be able to draw, but like I'm trying to get back into it, so Same. We'll see how my butterfly. I think it was like out. middle school. I used to draw like, oh, yeah, like elementary middle cats school. Cats and stuff. Like I used to be good. Are yeah, we sharing this or you have? Yeah. Okay. Well, I don't know you could divide it because I don't really know much. I don't even I'll take like one like I'm a, these two or I'll microdose and yeah. like, see how I'm feeling. But you know, it takes like an hour, hour? to kick in. The, yeah. well, to reach I'm not going to start painting till I feel it. I'm okay. not going to lie. Is this, should I take this whole thing? thing? Yeah. Yo. That looked like a whole, like, <laughs> like quarter though. Oh, we, for, good trip. Trip. we forgot from, to say good trip. Good trip. Good trip. We're going to have a good trip. It's going to be vibes. Yeah. Intentional. Ooh. Yeah. Now that you say it tastes like pumpkin seeds, I was trying you to figure them. out, like, what does it taste like? I feel like a lot of people that's scared of it or, like, judge people for doing it is because you never experienced it or you're not it's open-minded. It's a beautiful feeling. It's so euphoric. Yeah, like, you definitely should do your research, but you're not open-minded enough to, to see, like, okay. Like, there's so many stuff in this world that they give us, like, medicines that's, like, chemicals that we literally put in our body, but people shame other people y'all for taking like a alcohol. natural mushroom we drink alcohol well y'all wouldn't taste them yeah but you know what it is some people also, honestly ain't even like mentally there to be yeah. doing shit like that that's why like, i say like that that openness to be like okay like everything everybody tell me is not true like right. to know that there's something different out there like like there's so much stuff like, in the ocean that we ocean? yeah we that don't we don't know. even know i heard about. we only i thought we only knew five percent of the ocean like imagine like that i don't even know what exactly it is but basically there's a part of the ocean that we can't even go that's past and it's like you don't even know what's down there life is just deep and like some people try to make it seem like it's not and mm-hmm. i feel like it is like everybody you it come across deep. everybody you meet is here to teach you something you're here to learn something from everybody yeah like, whether to, it's good or bad yeah i used to literally go through life and and be asking like what's what is my purpose in life yeah like like yeah what's the point like I'm what's the end goal i still be asking that yeah, but it's like that one time I took shrooms, I learned that a lot of stuff don't need answers. That's true. So they it will teach you like a lot of stuff you really don't need answers. You know how they tell you like trust in God, have faith. You literally you do have to have faith. Yeah. Just live day by day and appreciate your experiences and learn from them and like get to the next day. And if you're doing what you need to do today, everything else in the future is going to fall into place. place. 
So like, like you being lazy today, tomorrow is not gonna you're not gonna elevate for tomorrow because you you was just like you wasted today basically. I like that you said that like not everything needs an answer because I sometimes I do find myself questioning like everything. You know yeah. what I was doing last night? I'm not gonna go into detail, but there's this person that like I truly felt like me and him was supposed to be together. Mm-hmm. But I'm like, damn, what if it was one sided and like what if he didn't feel the same way? And I'm asking all these questions to myself literally out loud. I'm like, I'm like, but I feel like. Like, I'm asking mad questions. I had to shut it down. I was like, Chanel, take your ass to sleep. I was like, because yeah, it, you're never going to know. And it's like, in the, oh, I was about to just say, fuck it. Well, I'm gonna get it. Bro, if y'all were meant to be. No, that's the one. That's what I was about to say. Y'all would have been. And you wouldn't be sitting here right now. At Ask midnight, questioning it. Questioning it. Yep. Period. So I feel like once I got to the point of realizing, like, everything happens for a reason. Every people that come in your life, they dare for a reason. Whether it's, like, temporarily or long term. It's like I started being okay with letting go, go of certain relationships because mm-hmm. what's meant to be in your life is going to be in your life. So right, And it's not going to miss you. Yeah. So, like, in that situation, I've been, like, doing that before. Like, I feel like I'm the best thing for somebody, but I feel like that's when your ego mm. bothers you. Like, okay, mm. it hurts your ego that he might find somebody better than you for yeah. him. Like, for she him. might not be. Like, I, I feel like everybody equal. Like, I treat everybody the same. But she might. But, but, but she might be a better fit for him. She might be what, she need, what yeah. he needs to learn. And I'm like, damn. But I feel like. I was I'm literally best, saying. Yeah. I was like, I feel like we could have taught each other stuff. Yeah. Like, I, we could have learned from each other. And I'm like, damn. You know what, Chanel? Shut the hell up. Because, like, like you said, if something is meant to be, it's going to be. Yeah, but everybody literally goes through that. So, like. When people would tell me that and they be like basically scared to talk about being like being vulnerable. I'm like everybody literally thinks the same things. Like everybody goes through the same things. Even guys, they might not say it a lot and say they feelings. Cause women, but y'all be thinking the same thing. Like dang, I think I, I thought I was the best dude for her. For her. Like um, women, we're more like emotional. Yeah, in and touch men with are our more emotions. Logic, so that's what oh it is. y'all, that was one of my topics for my 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 like my girl talk. <laughs> it was like, um, who do you think loves harder, men or female? See, I think men love harder. So I feel like females, we love under conditions. So, like, we'll love but a man. But when men love, they love, though. That's true. And that's why when they get their heart broken, they just they, they sometimes it's harder. never love again. Yeah, I seen a post. and it, Yeah, that's what I, was, I swear. I seen a post yesterday, and it was saying how, like, men, after they have their first love, they will never. It's hard for them to find another love again because yeah, when they that, love yeah. a female, they really love a female. So, like, women... When we stop getting basically what we want out of a relationship, like the affection, reassurance, him, yeah. the it's security. Easy to leave. Yeah. yeah, it's just like we mentally check out because like, okay, oh. he don't love us as much as he say he do. Mm-hmm. But it's still a feeling like if, if we feel like we're secure and safe in a relationship, I feel like we would be just as in love as, as a, a man. man. But I feel like we just we think so much deeper into it than like like guys do. So we, we guard ourselves a little bit more, even though we give a lot, we like, okay. Some girls do love really hard though. Like uh-huh. Uh-huh. Initially, I met some girls who like fall in love at first sight type thing, and they be crying over every last dude they I mess with. I feel like with. those are. I'm not even trying to be mean. You're delusional. Yeah, I feel like there's some insecurities. Insecurities. Some, the need to to you, somebody have somebody. You're scared of being alone. Yeah. So like, I'm not scared of being being alone. I could I, leave somebody. I do know girls like that too, who just be in love off of anything. Yeah. Like, he look at you a certain way, like. Girl, yeah, that's true. But I feel like everybody literally all want the same thing. Guys yeah. want to be reassured, affection. They want like certain characteristics in a girl that like might not be in a certain girl which is okay just because somebody is not for you don't mean they're they're a bad person Person. so learning to actually let that person go and go find somebody that's a better fit for them instead of like being attached to like dang i met his mom i done got to know him that's the hard part like dang this person was really in my life Life, like i was a big part of his life part of me yeah Yeah. so it, it, it do hurt like losing that attachment but it's like it's gonna make it worse in the long run Cause then it's going, you gonna put more time and into sometimes it. Sometimes like, it is just attachment. Like it's not, yeah, it's nothing more than that. And it's easy to not. I won't say easy to get over the attachment because I've been attached before. Mm-hmm. It's just like you just gotta learn how to live without them. Again. Yeah, it get easier yeah. day by day. I feel like it might not ever just be fully the same. But if you take what you learned from the situation, yeah, and every day gets a little bit better. Yeah, like, like you said, just because y'all didn't work out, don't mean that person is a bad person. Yeah, and even sometimes it That's takes way space it. and time for somebody to grow and get to a point where it's like, okay, this really was the girl for me. Because I feel like a lot of dudes, they... Like, even when I was in college, y'all, I felt like I was in a relationship, and I always would think, like, dang, I never had that college experience, like, go have fun, party. But it's like, I knew I didn't want it, but just the fact that I didn't never experience it, it. Yeah, I just wanted to experience it. So it took me, like, 
experiencing it to realize like that's something I really don't want yeah it's the same way everything in my life like be trying to be a nurse or anything I wanted to do in my life I had to do it first and realize I didn't want to do it before Sometimes I stopped you doing gotta it. try stuff yeah yeah before even like you know it. relationships it just all of it is like connected like relationships people will tell you like don't mess with him he's a bad dude but you like I gotta experience, experience that myself to know, to yeah. know that I don't want to deal really with him guy, yeah. yeah dang we didn't even see what time we took though <gasps> We, that's what we did too. <laughs> no, Mountain y'all, we didn't tell him how long it took us to get Bro, up there. Doing, doing, doing like real, really? real free spirited people. Free spirited. Like leave it in God's hands. We be having hella. I don't say I didn't want, but hella and faith in the same sense. We be having a lot of faith, faith. Yeah. that everything is just gonna be okay. I have that's to funny. All this from Mr. X's my SD card. Come back as next wake me and your child And then won't lay today Make me wonder who you might have been Really listen to this song I think it was after the first time I broke up But it made me feel good Like everything is gonna be okay, okay. I love something Like that just that feeling of like, like Even if it's not okay right now It's gonna be okay <laughs> camera can't get, get wet, damaged so um yeah i want to see y'all when we decide to figure out what's going on i don't know what's going on okay y'all so we made it to her house Oops. yeah y'all i'm about to start paying my picture y'all see him looking all right not too shabby yeah, we had to take this party in the house because yeah because they wanted to rain it outside rain and we wasn't really feeling the first one. We just took a little bit more. I took like two more little nuggets. I don't know how. That might add on top of what I already had. Like, yeah, what if we just got a set of Yeah. We don't even know. We're going to be in here tripping. Yeah. How men should wait until they get to like their best self, like their financial stability yeah. and all that stuff before they try to be in a relationship. Because I'd be saying that, and, like, if you can't afford yes, basic true. necessities for yourself, then you don't you, like a girlfriend is an expense, but like, I'm not trying to be your bill. Let me say that, like, I'm not trying to be nobody's bill, but having being in a relationship, if whether it's a female or a male, like, that shit requires time energy and money like yeah and even having your own stuff it gives you a sense of mind to mm -hmm. i feel like it makes dudes like not so insecure like i exactly. got my own stuff so it's gonna be okay so i feel like when you don't have your own stuff that's when you go you got those cheating dudes it's like yeah they want to date they somebody under them you, yeah. yeah so that they feel better about mm -hmm. themselves like so oh, me I'm personally than... even if my man was going 50 50 with me or not 50 50 if my man is like paying all the bills and stuff, I'm still gonna have my own income like somewhere. Yeah, somehow. that's like, how I feel. Like I don't want to leech off nobody. Of course, I want my man to want to provide for me. Like right. the thought of like that strong, like dominance. Like I want to provide for my wife and all that stuff. But I will be there 
to you know like pick up where he's like and i don't mind exactly. like taking turns paying for or if he pays the rent if he pays the rent i'll pay the light bill i'll you know yeah. like some i'll contribute to some type of bill but like my dream is really to have a man pay for the rent yeah. <laughs> like, but that's like, why i was like <laughs> in society today with how hard it is and like everybody just not rich like that so yeah. that's why like, i wouldn't mind and I don't, like going 50 I don't 50 expect, with my man. i don't expect at a young age for us oh, yes, for you to be going up age. for you to be going 80 20 with me like I expect to go fifty fifty at a young age, cause you know we're all, yeah. you know, in our twenties, still like. Figuring when you talk about out. financial standpoint, I yeah. feel like when you talk about anything else standpoint, I don't mind. I feel like, like some days I might be down, so it might be right. a, like a eighty. 20 but then same with you like you might have a bad day and work stress right. you out so i could be like doing 60 40 like a relationship like providing for you helping you like it's I like see, you're literally bouncing off of yeah i see something where like a relationship is 100 100 or like some days it's yeah. 100 100 some days it's 50 50 some days it's 80 20 yep. some days shit is you know like as long as you're getting yeah. fed back into exactly like, like not all the time your partner is going to be up for like certain things we're humans at the end of the day not robots like especially females mm -hmm. not all the time your girl is going to want to provide sex because sometimes every she's not single in the day or, yeah like i'm not going to f you seven days out the yeah, week especially if i still gotta work yeah like, like dudes be wanting females to to work and come and, do and help pay like bills human. and also Rub on them, show them a fish and cook for them, like, wash their clothes. Not all the time I'm in the mood to cook, like, you know, it's just... Mm -hmm. But I feel like that human. provides that, that, like, when a dude can provide, it provides a safe space for you to fully yeah. be feminine. Like, yeah. I can wash the clothes. I can't take care of the house. But, you know, some days you still will be tired, even though you feel yeah. like if you have that. And like, I feel like it's good for a man to be days. able to cook for his woman, too. That's why oh, I was yeah. like, I want, like, a partnership. Like, uh, yeah, it's a partnership. That's what it like, is. Like, where we're you're like, the leader. We're feeding into you're each other. You're the like masculine said, energy, but you're you still leading. respect me enough to know that you can learn from me. And you help me out sometimes. You know, you do for me. Like you said, it's okay for a man to cook for a woman. Honestly. Yeah, like sometimes I can take you on dates, but we, I still get that like you're the leader. Like yeah. I, I respect your how you feel, and that's I just know something that I never want to feel. You make like the tough decisions of the household. Like, yeah, in a relationship, I never want to feel like the masculine one again, and yeah, I feel like no. I'm very like same. I don't. I, maybe I don't allow myself to be feminine, but I feel like you gotta have that feeling of like security and safe space yeah, to, be, to feminine. be feminine because it's like it's automatically in. I feel like all females. But once we start feeling like we not like it's not secure, he might right. be cheating or messing with that somebody else. He not with yeah. us as much as we with them. That's when you get back on your your independent your mindset. Yeah. Like I don't, I I was good before you. I'll be good after, after you. So I feel like that's why they say women leave sure. mentally before they leave physically. Mm -hmm. I feel like a man who is always cheating like in all his relationships is a man who's insecure Definitely. and doesn't have security with himself and he has no respect control for, yes no self-control yes that and he has no that respect for himself because he's laying in control. bed with everybody yes. easy yeah, that's why I need my man to be growing out of that stage. Like, Literally, like to be able to I feel like that's such a turn on to be able to control your urges because even females have urges like I wouldn't say like we would go cheat on our man, but like you'll well, see female, somebody more attractive yeah. and all but, like, that stuff. But like, I got a man. Like, yeah, like I don't be thinking about like, none we acknowledge of that. it's okay to acknowledge somebody else is attractive, but because, for yeah, you to normal. act on it, it's that's crazy. a choice. Yes. Yeah, like you, you're acting you have on to that. Think, no you one's have to like, think about that. No, yeah, you no have one that to I wouldn't be okay with that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's mm -hmm. like a man that can master like his like sexual urges yes, and have self control. It's like you really attract everything, bro. Like. Literally, like yeah, some not. people throw away their like a good woman just to go lay in a bed with another woman. For a it's couple like, minutes, for a, mi a couple minutes, you throw away uh, your home for a hotel. Like what they be saying about that? Yeah, like yeah. bro, what? You wasn't you wasn't deserving of her anyways. You decided right. to do that. So and we male, females gotta get to a point where it's like you gotta, gotta know that. Up and yes, gotta it's not it's not us. Back. It's, right. it's, exactly. it's them that they need to work on their personal girls be like oh what did i do wrong you didn't do nothing wrong yeah he just don't he don't know how to control himself like that's it also with that though there is some girls who don't know how to take accountability like they just feel like a man should take them as they is mm -hmm. and like i feel like as a female you have to be willing to learn too in a relationship like know that okay this might be a toxic trait of mine right let me fix it it makes him feel this way it makes him feel like oh right. like because sometimes i used to shut down like if i was feeling away about something i'll shut yeah. down and move according to how i felt like mm -hmm. i'm like all right like, i'm gonna just be on my own yeah. type yeah i'm gonna just it's, like when now i gotta, gotta learn how to when speak. you're in a relationship with someone you just gotta learn like what they like like their love language
languages mm -hmm. and what's respectful and disrespectful to them. So like honestly, my next relationship, I want to have like a set of rules, not rules where it's like, boundaries. oh, you can't, you can't go to a party. Like boundaries. Yeah. Like I want us to both speak on both our boundaries and like what you like or what you might find hurtful, disrespectful. And like I want to know these things beforehand yeah. before I get myself into. And, and then when it, it happens, comes, like, if, know, yeah, yeah but I said, if I do it, then let me know so I can know that I did it and, and work on it. Right. I feel like a lot of people, like, young people our age, they, they be so defensive. Mm -hmm. Like, they be like, no, like, I did this because of this. Like, just don't take accountability. And I was one of those people, too, that didn't yeah. take accountability. I always try to make up excuses or be like, and this wasn't my intent. Yeah, yeah, like, make yourself seem like a victim. Yeah, or like you yeah. did this before. It's like even if they did do that, like they're the Too hypocrite. Wrong, but right. yeah, like I know I just did. It, so let me take accountability for it. Yeah, everything's really communication and understanding. But it's like if I really meet a man that has everything that I'm Sometimes, looking for, I will be. I don't. If, I, I don't will see that in a moment. It. Like tell me. <laughs> Tell me what I'm doing wrong. I'll stop yeah. right now and I'll just be like, all right, like, nah, you're right. I see some, where I did that. I feel like I've, I've come across good guys and I've definitely self sabotaged because it's like, I get a good man and I don't know what the hell to do it. Because they be like, women be begging for good men and we get them and we don't know what to do with yeah, them. Yeah, because we like, saw the toxic, like, oh, yes. you're lying to me, you're lying to me. <laughs> but everybody I came by, I used, I was thinking that too, like, mm -hmm. in my last relationship. But dudes are really dudes at the end of the day. Yeah. Like, I mean, like even though I'm sitting here thinking like maybe it's me and I need to get out of my fixing, toxic ways, yeah. but your intuition really do be speaking to you sometimes, like telling you like something don't feel right. Yeah. And when that joint turn out to be what you really thought it was, it's just be like wow, like I knew this whole time, but I, I loved him so much that I wanted to work that I tried to. You can love like find it in myself. Two people can love each other, but that don't mean like y'all meant to be. Yeah, like in love with each other. Yeah, for the rest of y'all lives. Yeah, like, y'all here to teach each other something. I feel like, bro, yeah. Or you believe? Definitely when you're, um, when, especially when you're messing with somebody and y'all been dealing with each other for a minute, the more you're around somebody, you're going to grow to love them. Yeah. Regardless if you're in love with them or not. Yeah. So it's like you could definitely be. Or grow tired of them. Love, yeah, love them and not be in love with, with them. them. Yeah, it's a difference between having love for someone and being And in lust. Love. Yeah, you or, can be in a lust phase. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's another one. Yeah. I need to charge it for my camera. But it's like, I can really pick up on a dude, like, his maturity level by just yeah, yeah. how he carries himself. Yeah. yeah. And, like, I hate, like, mean people. It's such a turnoff for me. What if, like, a dude mean? think it's, like, so cute to, like, be mean to, like, waitresses or, like, pick on somebody. Oh, that, yeah. Like, that's not attractive. I hate that. And they think it's, like, I don't know, cool or something. Or just or something. being disrespectful. Like, yeah. have respect for people. It's like, that's like, not cute. You'll see my cat is blue. So it'll show me their ma maturity level just by that. By yeah. stuff. You can tell a lot about a person based just on by like observing. Observing, yeah. Y'all, this is low key coming out really nice. Yeah, yours is really good. You did that. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yeah, that was my little, my little, I wanted to hear her her point of view. I had a, a another, like, topic. Um, but we already kind of talked about it, like females being submissive in a relationship. Yeah. But I feel like if you're providing everything that a female wants, well, yeah, yeah sure. then she she'll be free to feel submissive. But I feel like a lot of women are taking that role, like the dominant role in a relationship, where it's like I'm still doing everything for myself. Right. I'm giving you all this affection and love and stuff, and like I'm literally getting no return on my investment. I guess you could say the fifty-fifty would be like. A man providing and then a female doing, you know, yeah, female, like all the other female, female stuff, needs, like yeah. yeah, the female giving the dude a safe space to to be himself, yeah, motivating him right. to get to being his best him. version of himself, yep. Yeah. So but like, like you gotta so allow a female to be for you, be there for you emotionally. I feel like not a lot of men like wait, don't even like allow that because yeah. they don't. Really but same with like emotions. you know who I say like dudes gotta create a safe space females yeah, gotta true. create a safe space That's like true. stop trying to make true. men feel bad for being emotional. emotional yeah like they be like oh you're sassy oh stop acting like a yo B -word. you know what I know that <laughs> I'm guilty of calling men sassy but oh. you're so right because like and it makes them not the even minute wanna... we now, <laughs> now we got a new term for them sassy <laughs> so yeah, now or how you treat them gonna... when they mad like, yeah so now a man not gonna want to open up because now he afraid he's yeah. gonna get called sassy <laughs> or like like I said I used to get defensive so it made like men feel like okay 
Like I, I don't even ain't no point of me speaking on it because every time I speak on it, right, she gets defensive about it or it would be an argument. And a lot of men don't. Well, I don't even want to argue all the time, but yeah, confrontation. So they just hold that joint into yeah. themselves. I don't so even like, think men really like arguing for real. Yeah, so it takes like a female also doing her part and making a safe space for him to be vulnerable or have a safe space to talk about how he feel. And I feel like when it's the right person, everything just gonna come easy. Like no, for if real. If I don't fuck with you, I ain't doing all that for you. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, if, if I'm not already getting what I see, like seeing you from the jump, not going right then. Yeah, I just don't even care. But I let people know at the beginning now. Like if I'm not seeing it going nowhere, like I'm not looking for nothing. We can vibe. We can be cool. Yeah. But I'm, I'm, I'm really trying to just be by myself right now. But I hate feeling like making people feel like, oh, like I'm not good enough or like, I, I mean, need to do somebody this. So can, like, you're somebody, perfect for somebody else. Yeah, I was about to say that. Somebody can be not good enough for you, but like, yeah. you know. So I'll be trying to make sure I, I let news know that before I stop messing with it. Like, you're, it's not that you're not good enough or you need to do this better. Like, if that's something that you really stand on, that you, like, hold value in your life, don't change that for well, me. Then you're a good communicator. Go find somebody. I, yeah. I don't be communicating. Yeah, I, that's why I... <laughs> I just I, ghost people. But the more you, I'm to say, the more you do it, the easier it gets. Like, you gotta yeah. start doing it to even get better at communicating right. for real. Like, I used to when a guy like, does something I don't like, I just be like, okay, I'm gonna cut you off now. Like, yeah, I don't even explain don't what you did wrong. I just disappear on you. Like, okay, no, I already Bye. break that shit down and allow them to. And I'll I'll try to find the root of the problem too. Like, if a dude do something, and I could tell, like I'm very observant of like like I said patterns. So like, if a dude do something like posting stuff and you could tell like they doing it to try to make me jealous what what is your reasons for trying to make me jealous why do you feel the need to try to make me jealous are you not getting enough reassurance right. and you feel like i don't love you enough like it's okay for you to tell me that instead of doing stuff like that like Child trying to get my attention yeah females do it too though like uh, your man not complimenting you enough and you go post a cute story on yeah. your story to see if they watch your story like right. you know i'm still cute you gotta remind them like i still look good but it's when, just when like, it's like, why not just speak on it? Sometimes when a man does get you, he does like... Yeah, they do get comfortable. He's not trying. Even, hey, with, even with females, though, I feel like, yeah, when you, you get, get in a relationship, too. that's like the beginning. Yeah, you gotta, you, can, you can't, it's like an ongoing face. job. Just like when you go to the gym, you don't never just stop going to the gym once you get to where you want body goal wise. You gotta keep going to the gym, work out, to maintain those results. results yeah. So it's the same with a relationship. To you get a real, that like, relationship, yep. keep that spark in it. That's the, the reason that they is. wanted to be with you in the first place. Right. So once you lose those reasons they wanted to be with you, and then people say they fought, fell out of love, right. like no, you just stopped doing everything right. that I fell in love with in, in the, the first place. Love. And people Such think, like, oh, you're supposed thing. to go through hell and back for your love. And, like, no, you're not. Yeah. <laughs> they need to change that and like, the the media and stop teaching people. Like, you're supposed to go through hell and back with people. Nah. That's real love. Like, no, it's nah. not. You That's don't have to put up with a nigga cheating on you. You don't That's have to. That's narcissistic. Yeah. Nah. Like, there's a man that's literally out there that would not cheat or that got past that phase. Everything, like, you're looking for before. But a lot of us coming from trauma homes so and stuff, too. Yeah, thinking like, okay, I might not find another dude that can be as honest as he was with me. Let me stay with him. Let me yeah, make it work. Knowing that there's some, what there's, you're out, yeah, whatever is on your there. heart is out there. Yep. It so, might not come when you want it, but it's going to come when, when, exactly. when God plans it, like the right time for yeah, it to come. So that's you why you can only really focus on getting yourself better. So you could be prepared. To, and just don't settle for less. Like, yeah, that. But Even like, if a man, I don't want no man to feel like he's settling for me. If yeah, if, same. If I'm not what you want, baby. I'm and I can feel that. Ready. Like I, I know when I, I feel a man because it's like you're gonna do for somebody yes, like, that you really exactly. love. That's what so I'm saying. you're like, definitely settling. If for a me. man feel like he need to go fifty fifty with me, I'm not the one for him because if it was a girl he really wanted, he not gonna make her even touch her purse. Yeah, like, I'm about to say, when I'm in a relationship, I'll be the same way. Like, I, I try to make your life so much easier. I'll do a little thoughtful stuff, right. like, just to make your life easier. So if you're not doing the same with me and you know I'm, like, struggling with building, you got it more than I do, or, and you trying to buy me a bag instead of, like, help me that way, like. Buy me a house. Yeah, like, pay my rent for the next let's couple months. Like, oh, let's I, talk about marriage. Okay. Okay, so I was seeing this girl, um, not to even to cut you off, but oh, you could. I wanted your opinion on this. So I seen this girl on TikTok talking about like how people wait for the big, the big money, the big wedding to get married. 
So she was saying basically, so if you're happy in a relationship with someone and you see yourself with this person for the rest of y'all lives, but say at the moment y'all don't like have the funds to have like a big wedding mm -hmm. and all this stuff like that, would you still like, if you, now, say you guys are together for two years and like y'all want to get married, like would you do it without the whole big wedding or do you feel like that's something that you need? No, see, I'm all about like experiences and just like the memorable moments. So if I, if we're feeling it, I don't care how much money we got. Like I feel like it's gonna be beautiful regardless. So I don't need the big, the big ceremonies. Ceremony. Where, but some girls do, which yeah. is cool. And that's but it's fine, like me yeah. personally, I don't need all of that to be with the person for, like I love for a small. I, I just like, like the thought that you even wanted to make me your wife or your own. Like, like I love this woman so much. Like she gotta be my wife. wife yeah. I agree, because, like, say y'all do get to where y'all want to be financially, y'all could just mm -hmm. end up having that be happy oh. wedding. How have you feel, two weddings. I like to say, how you feel about that? Like, so, a lot of girls, they'll be with men while they down, and then they come up and they, like, change up. And I feel like money doesn't really change, change you. It emphasizes what you already are. Mm. So, like, a lot of men, they, they get like all this money and have that all these is. females around them and then decide to leave their girl or cheat is like because you was already this man but you was settling for me in because this position you didn't have. because you didn't yep you didn't have everything you mm. already wanted emphasize money emphasizes who people are i never heard it like yeah this female i know she had a boyfriend and like he literally showed her everything in life and it would make her want more mm -hmm. so it's just like it emphasized what, like when he first met her like oh she's down to earth she don't really care about money yeah. and stuff because she didn't have money right so then when she did start getting money you could see like she wanted more money and more, more money. money she wanted all the fancy things it's like it just emphasized what she already wanted she, she wanted just didn't have it, the funds before to get it so it's like money definitely mm -hmm. emphasize what you already are yeah that's true. So it's like it. some dudes that they, they get their money and they want to have a whole different girl or whatever the case is. And they be like, wow, she was with you since she was at the bottom. Like, right. He never wanted to be with her in the first place. He just dealt with her because she was there. I don't know. I would be really mad. I would, I would, I would be, be mad too. I would be mad. Yeah. If I get, if my I'll man gets some money and he leave me like. I just put up with all this shit. I was paying your bills. I was sleeping on the floor with you. But that's why as a female, you should always have your own and don't put up with no bs because mm -hmm. a man not gonna sit there and, and, and put if it was vice versa yeah he's not going for it. like that's that's what females gotta learn yeah like, they get they, they finally was, leave them and then they be like I, I was doing all of this we were sleeping on the floor with him i was paying for him when he didn't have no job like why didn't you just leave you had the choice like you wasn't getting what you want out of a relationship you could have just left just like he just left you to go with another girl bro he's like he bullying. wasn't happy he's messing up See that right there that makes me think like sometimes girls I feel like it's it's not no really girls love harder than boys or boys love harder than girls. Mm. That's kinda like it I guess we're, we're it willing is. to put up mm, I guess I don't know, I think girls are willing to put up with more. I guess Cause some some guys be putting up with a, a lot, lot from girls that they love. And I, just I like, guess it how? depends on your heart and if how hard the you person mess with that person. <laughs> yeah. Like yeah. maybe yeah. gender don't even really play a big role. Yeah, it's it's your, it's it's your soul. You mess with that it's person. Your person. Yeah. Cause I'm like, I just, you just need gotta a, mess with somebody with a good yep. soul. I need a person that just is caring or thoughtful and with just me. Pure. Yep. Family That's oriented. Pure. Like I need my man to come like that. Yeah, I'm just gonna wait because I don't. Yeah, ain't nobody giving at all. If y'all were wondering if I'm dating, absolutely not. <laughs> not no, anybody. I don't even be looking at men's way. Don't yeah. <laughs> no, it'd be like that. Yeah, I'm chilling, bro. I'm, I'm just it, enjoying life. Life, literally. Literally. Man, I guess no I'm rush. Like, I ain't closed off either. Like, I always say yeah. I, I, I live to love another day. Right. I, I'm always open-hearted like, to getting to know other people. But once I get that, like, you're not for me. Then I'm cool, so I'm patient with that's, waiting. Yeah, I feel like I feel like I'm gonna know. I don't know. I feel like I'm just know. That's why if I'm if a boy is talking to me and like I don't feel like have that feeling where like, I'm, yeah, like you, you know what I'm trying to say? Like you intrigue me. I want to hear you talk more. Like nobody is catching my eye. At yeah, all. which like, that's okay. Yeah. You're just not that time yet. Yeah. Because that's what it is. Like, sometimes you just gotta. Learn I feel like yourself, some people, though, yeah, definitely grow. get better in yourself. But some people, they can they can move on for, to situations faster than others. But that just depends on the person. Like, so, like, move some on faster. Like, yeah, like, like some girls is okay. Yeah. 
Like, well, I move on fast as fuck. <laughs> yeah, I do too. Because and they be thinking like you never loved me. Yeah. Like, no, it's not that I never I just, loved you. I just realized that you wasn't the one for, for me. For me, and I already accepted learned the lesson. It. I accepted yep. it. And one thing about it, like, I'm not going to really, linger on no negative. Yeah, I'm really good with like detaching. So like, yeah. you know, I've been, you know, I'm just, I'm just good at detaching from people. So like, I can move on. I mean, it depends on how much I like the person, to be honest. Because there's one person you I always gonna have about. them moments where yeah. you're just like, okay. There's definitely one person who's still be in my mind lingering, living rent for myself. Living <laughs> rent free. Yeah, like, do you still think about me as much as I think about like, you? Like, why am I thinking about you this much? Like, you gotta be thinking yeah, about like, me. Yeah, like, no, that's crazy because I low key used to do that yeah. and think about somebody so much. I feel like I manifested them back into my life. Like, they would text me out of the blue. I'm like, really? bro, I was literally this just person, thinking I feel about like you. This person has nah. no good intentions, though. Like, yeah. He always came back, but not never no had good no good, good intentions. intentions. Yeah. Still on the same like thing. And it's like, God, like, okay, yeah. he's still the same. Or well, you haven't learned your lesson yet. Mm -hmm. Sometimes God just be trying to It's see. like shiny object syndrome. Like, he's <laughs> a shiny object to me. And I'm just like, I want it. I want it. But sometimes, it's not good even for though you. somebody makes you feel good, that doesn't mean that they're good for you. And you would know that too. Like, mm. whole time girls be knowing, like, this is oh, yeah, shit. Be knowing. And just be staying. Just be staying. Because you like how that person makes you feel. Yep. Mm. That's why I said we be falling in love with the qualities. It'd be certain qualities. It'd just be like, I ain't found that in another dude before. Like, I, I want it, I want it. Mm -hmm. to myself. Like, why is he trying to make me share? <laughs> mm -mm. That's why once I see if I feel, or even if I got the feeling like I'm sharing you, sharing. Yeah, like, it can happen. Everybody can. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, when I get mine, to be mine, yes, yeah, it's, it's mine. It's me and mine. It's that's it. We that's it's no it shares, no, it's no Keisha's, it's no, no, no. Yeah. I don't do that, bro. Because mm -hmm. obviously you was settling for me. If you feel like you still exactly. gotta go look for something elsewhere, you're settling. You were settling for if me. You, if you don't look at me and feel like you want to, you drop still the looking whole for world. your wife. Yeah, you're not. You're not trying to stay with me for a lifetime. Exactly. You trying to stay with me for right now and right still now. go find your wife at the same time while being with me. You're not about to have your cake and eat, eat it too. too. Mm -mm. Over here. But yeah, sometimes I feel like girls gotta be able to date for like the experience and learn from seeing yeah. people. And then like, okay, he's not gonna be my husband. I ain't gonna mess with him. But you know what? It you is? learn about yourself when you date. And uh, as females, like we'll meet a guy and we like him, and we're already planning our entire life. Now. I yes. I be like, am I? Or I do that. <laughs> I'm like, am yes. I delusional? <laughs> when stuff, when stuff be so good, like it literally, be like I can have all this many kids. I'm like, I want to have his kids, and I'm like, yeah. then I really get to know him and see his character. I'm like, damn wouldn't i really wouldn't i would kill myself and then you have another good day again like, okay maybe yeah that's, that's, that's happened to me like recently i was like bro he's annoying but i'm like oh my god but he's so you cute. have a really good moment like, yeah like you just no like, he's annoying at night time we had a good day and yeah. like, you're like oh i can just have your babies like i just love you so much and then the next day's like oh like, bro, like, it's like you make me cringe yeah like, no. mm -hmm. i am me it'd be like okay y'all i'm gonna turn the music back on though because i kind of feel like Mushrooms is there. I don't know. I feel like I need more. I don't know. And like the I chocolate like used to like, like tripping. Like you. Used I've to. never tripped. Like what's the trip to you? Oh, like I've never like, like seen shit yeah, start moving. Trip. You know. Oh, we definitely had, had a, a real trip. Mm -mm. I've just had like feelings. Like oh, like the surface level. Yeah, yeah. you gotta have a deep trip. It's definitely like a different experience. So should I take more? Yeah, you can. I could feel my it's like kicking a little bit. That's why I'm gonna turn y'all off and turn the music back on. But y'all want to see my picture? Well, I'm <laughs> taking a little more. It looks so cute. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, y'all. So something else I wanted to mention, like last time I had a, like a deep talk. Last time I had like a deep talk on my channel and I was telling y'all how I realized so much about myself, like my insecurities in certain situations and stuff still or go about stuff. It was like after I got off shrooms, cause I feel like after you, you when you're on shrooms, you can really sit there and dig deeper in yourself and really find stuff about yourself that like you didn't really notice too much before. So that's when I will realize a lot of stuff about myself that I needed to fix or Especially if you have sure. somebody to bounce off of. Yeah. Yeah, not that you're not perfect yeah, or, or you're broken. Yeah, it's just like we improve. all have, yeah, stuff that we can't improve or be like a better partner or a better person. So it's just like realizing stuff like that. 
And then I, I, I think it's crazy that people like judge people that like, you know, do shrooms. Yo, I'm kind of tripping right now. My eyes getting lower. But judge people that do shrooms, but like they praise like Janae Aiko or like SZA. Oh, These yeah. people openly tell them like, oh, like and I made a whole song, I'm just, doing shrooms. People who do stuff like that, honestly, we're just trying to find like a understand ourselves, really. Yeah. Like, I mean, yeah, that, like I said, there is some people that abuse it. Yeah. But it's just like they really just be like, "Oh, you did shrooms. You're such a, you're such a, like basically like one of them people. Like, yeah. You must do coke and cocaine. Yeah. On it. Like I, I would never put something that harmful in my body. Right. Like I, I know my If limits. anything, shrooms made me more cautious of what I put in my body because yeah. it affects like my vibrations or how I'm feeling, and I understood that after doing shrooms. So it's like. I've been become became more healthier after doing shrooms than I was before, like taking natural herbs to fix stuff before they happen instead of the medicines that they try to prescribe to us, just stuff like that. But yeah, I had just I had to say that before. PSA. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've been sitting here talking for a long time though about a lot of good stuff like i feel like like a lot of conversations that a lot of people should hear in certain conversations but you know like sometimes certain conversations are not meant for the internet even though i am very open with y'all like there's times where there's conversations that y'all don't necessarily need to hear so people think i just need to have more privacy and be private about things but i'm not a dumb person y'all like i promise i'm not dumb i have a lot of stuff in my life that i keep private for the peace sake but if y'all see entertainment type stuff on my platform just know that i know what i'm doing with what i show y'all like i don't put something that like if i feel like like if I if I have a relationship and I feel like it's gonna be better kept when it's at peace and not on the internet, y'all wouldn't see that. <laughs> like I know what I be doing for real, and I have like stuff that I don't share with y'all necessarily all the time. As y'all can see, y'all learned today that like I have done shroom shrooms before, but I have stuff that I don't share with y'all for reasons because I I do think about like certain things and. I know I am still a human and not perfect, but and put stuff stuff up here that I might not should. But I'm pretty open with y'all for the most part. I feel like a a buzz, like an underglow, yeah. but it's not like like I'm tripping, like, like stuff the, moving. But I like normally when I do do shrooms, like yeah. I'll see like patterns, like keep going and yeah. like moving and stuff. For, for me, the chocolate hits like <laughs> fast, like. Um, like some people say they don't trust the chocolate. Yeah, that's like me. I don't be feeling like, yeah, like the sugars and all that stuff. I don't real. know. Like it never just, it never gave me like that real shroom Some feeling. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, the chocolate is not bad either. I just rather have like the real it's shroom. Nasty, this is good. Yeah. Way better. I'm uh, I don't pause the music. Long as you got your eyes, got your trippy on the Oh,